Hey guys, Jason Noah, another gold making guide for you guys. So these are three different raw gold farms for uh, right now in Battle for Azrael. These will still be useful in uh, what do you call it when Shadowlands comes out, unless they nerf the gold amounts. But if you're looking for raw gold, these are some of the ways to do it in case you're trying to save up your Brutosaur mount, which I'm trying to do, but I've been kind of lazy as you can see. I, I have maybe 400k gold across all my characters, so I'm not like the biggest gold maker. But here's what I've been doing so far. So let's go check out all the farms. Alright, so for the first farm is the group farm. Group finder farm, I like to call it. So basically, people farm random hyper spawn spots where basically you get into two groups of four and you just kill all the mobs and then the, because the mobs are dying so quickly, it just it triggers the respawn and you're able to get the loot. So the 2x4s are pretty popular. There's also the anchor weed farm where you can uh, run around with a raid and basically herb up the rare items, the rarest herb in the BFA. And then there's also volatile farms. So those are the three main farms I do. Not a big fan of the mount farms, only because the mount like seems to never drop for anybody. But if you do get the mount, that's like an easy 30 to 50k depending on your server. So it's a pretty good farm. I would suggest getting a tailor and the tools of the trade so you can get more cloth drops if you're doing a farm like this one right here. Uh, on this tune, I didn't have tailoring, so it wasn't really that worth it. But it's ba you almost AFK. You do need monks are popular because you can put the monk statue on the floor and basically gather up all the mobs and are required for most of these farms. But otherwise, most classes should do. It really depends on the farm. But otherwise, if you're really into these farms, definitely level up a monk because you'll get into the groups a lot faster. The next farm is the Raid Finder farm, or otherwise, World Warlords of Draenor farm. So what you need is at least a level 2 garrison, and when you go to your level 2 garrison, there should be an NPC in it that allows you to grab, uh, what do you call it, whatever raid instances you want. You can also do this for Mr. Pandaria, but I don't think the Mr. Pandaria dungeons are necessarily worth it. I think the, the what do you call it, the mobs themselves actually drop loot, because in most of the World of the Draenor dungeons, they don't actually drop loot, which is a little bit weird, so you're only getting loot off the bosses. So the ones I do is the very last one, which is the final boss of Legion, I think it's Archer Knight, I, I can't say his name correctly. Basically, it's just a one boss encounter, as you can see right here, it took me 5 seconds to get to him, and like 5 seconds to kill him. And you get about like 300G or something like that, so if you need some like really, really, really quick gold, that's probably the easiest way. Because as you can see here, it, I was able to get 27 gold, and then everything's worth about 40G. And then I do Black Art Foundry on three modes, either the Raid Finder, Normal Mode, or Mythic Mode. For Normal Mythic, you obviously have to go to the actual dungeon. For Raid Finder, it's easy because you can just queue up for it and then do the wings. And it, it, each boss drops about, it depends, depending on the difficulty, the, the gold amounts on the epics is usually around 50, 40 SG. And there's like a ton of bosses, so it's pretty easy passive gold. Then the last one, there's two ways you can do it. Is the freehold farm this one's pretty popular because it's freehold boosting so what freehold boosting is basically taking a level 110 with heirlooms or no heirlooms and then you charge x amount of gold per level and all you do is have them sit in certain spots through the instance away from the mobs while you just kill the mobs and then they get the experience and then they give you the gold every time you level or you do it up front uh if you want to do it solo you gotta have a decent item level on this death knight is about a four almost 450 item level and what you basically do is you just take gather up as many mobs as you can handle and then there's these little huts there's about two little huts in the zone you just drag them to the huts and then you just aoe down all the mobs so what you get if you do this on a tailor it's a lot better on a tailor i don't think this is worth it unless you're doing the freehold boost which is easy to do if you just you know you just kill the mob you don't even need any boosting communities or anything like that you can just boost by yourself and then you're able to kill all the mobs and you'll loot about 70 gold i want to say about yeah you loot about 70 gold plus greens plus tailoring items which you can turn into the gold, uh, gold shuffle for tailoring if you want but it, this farm mostly comes down to the tailoring unless you just want the greens and the red and the raw raw gold but otherwise it's a pretty decent farm uh, sometimes i do it if i'm bored but it's not the most lucrative thing unless you're doing the boosting if you know how to boost fast do the dungeons fast and you're able to get some buyers then it's pretty good the only thing is searching for buyers kind of blows because you're wasting time sitting in stormwind or whatever arguing with like 50 different other boosters trying to get it so i don't know how viable boosting is as far as gold per hour but if you're just looking to farm it by yourself and you have a tailor it's pretty easy to do so those are the three ways i like to make gold the one i recommend the most is the two by fours because it's just quick and you get to kill tons and tons of mobs and it's just very addicting so thank you for watching Feel free to subscribe for more wild videos and I'll see you guys next time.